Hello people, maybe you recognise this logo. They're a big seller of hard drives, have been for about 20 years. Hmm, they're a very dubious company in my opinion. This enclosure here was the casing for a Lachi, well I think it was a big drive of some sort. Let's have a look at the back plate if I can find it. Uh, yeah. I think this is the one. Oh, it's the back plate for a Lachi Big Disc Firewire, which I bought eons ago, 320 gig. Two rated IDE 160 gig drives in there. Yeah. Now, the problem with Lachi is not that their drives or their drive enclosures are that shit. It's that, basically, the power supplies that they supply with the units, like this, are completely crap. They last, if you're lucky, 13 months, maybe a couple of years. Then your hard drive stops mounting, the, uh, the light flashes, and most people who don't understand about capacitor death and how packing tiny little capacitors into power supplies, um, in fact, leads to a lot of problems. So in this case, the capacitors in this end of the unit here, which you can barely see, the end that the um, power cord comes in into uh, from the mains, um, they all just die. And of course, then the power supply dies, then your hard drive stops working, and then you think, let me focus on that. iPhone, are you any good at focusing? No, you're shit at focusing. Oh, there, there you go, you're gonna decide to focus. Um, and then of course, your power supply stops mounting, it makes all sorts of noises, then the drive light on your drive flashes, and then you lose access to, the, to your data. And then a lot of people, you know, we're using these drives as backup drives to secure important data. But it may turn out, in fact, of course, that um, a lot of people just throw those drives out and they presume they've lost their data. Whereas, in fact, there's not much wrong with the drives. So you have to excuse the mess here because this is a huge shambolic operation in which I'm basically um, bringing this data back from the dead, but I'm not doing it in a particularly pristine environment. This is not exactly MKBHD territory, but if I brag my cam drag my camera over here, you can see an interesting arrangement. Now what's going on here is this is the internal guts of a G big. Now obviously this is an IDE version from eons ago with two IDE 160 gig drives paired together into a RAID of 320 gig. Now they obviously do, did other discs like this, but they were SATA as well, so they did a lot of discs that were in this format. Now obviously this would no longer power up properly, so in order to deal with the situation, what I did is I took the case off and I noticed that it used two Molexes to power the drives which were connected to this board which then received power. Now obviously the power supply wasn't supplying enough power to power up the two drives. So what I then did is I thought, well I've got a PC power supply, here's a PC power supply. That has Molex connectors on it which come on this cable up here and I've taken off the power that normally, uh, the two power connectors on these drives that normally plug into this controller board here unplugged them completely so they're out of the equation, taken two Molexes from this PC power supply, plugged them into the two drives over here. Um, and then I've used the power on test uh, to force the power supply to come on outside of a PC by using a, an insulated paper clip between the green ground wire on the, um, AT, AT, uh, the, the, the ATX motherboard connector and just one of the ground black wires, which of course will cause the power supply to power on. Um, that supplied power, that has successfully supplied power to both these drives. Um, and then what I did, I happen to have, because I have a lot of these drives, I mean, I, I don't mean to sort of, I'm not trying to boast here because, I mean, you have to excuse this environment, it's a sort of, it's a workshop. So here are three drives, for instance, all of which I couldn't get access to because they all have um, dead power supplies. And when I say I have a lot of these drives, I probably have about seven or eight, all of them that basically I've only got one good power supply. And that one good power supply is this one here, which is plugged into this board. And you might say, well, why are you plugging it in to power up these hard drives? Well, this power supply is in fact one of the smaller power supplies. So this one is in fact only, it's one of these style power supplies. It's a, a two amp on the 12 volt and two amp on the five volt. Um, and basically that's, that's used for powering one of the smaller uh, units, which only has one, one hard disk in it. So that's the only remaining functional Lachie 
um, power supply that I have. So I've used that to power this board by itself, just this board, which it can successfully do because there's enough power to do that. But it wouldn't have been able to power these two drives, which is why I brought the, um, the, the, the PC power supply into the equation. Now what this has enabled me to do, this jerry-rigged in the extreme situation, as you can see, the whole thing is just a shambolic mess, but it actually completely works. And I now have access on my iMac to the data that's on these drives, and I'm now backing it up onto another USB hard drive there. So the truth is that you can recover data from these drives. Very often these raids are not completely screwed. Obviously you can have scenarios where the drives die or something terrible happens, but the truth is that these units were usually dying much faster because of the power supplies failing. So the, most of the time the internal guts are okay. I mean I have got ones with failed boards, but I'm probably going to be able to recover those as well if I'm lucky by moving them into cases and environments where the boards are better. But at the moment, I'm in the process of recovering all this data um, after it's probably sat dormant in my storage for six years without being able to get access to it because I haven't got proper power supply. So here you go, Jerry rigged situation. I could give a more in-depth scenario to explain how to do all this, but it's relatively simple. If you know how to do research on how to test an ATX power supply, you basically have to do a paperclip method and and that uh, testing an ATX power supply video on YouTube will show you how to use the paperclip trip, um, paperclip trick properly to power on your power supply, um, and then you can just use the power off it to power other things. And in this case, I'm powering the two hard drives with these Molex connectors here, and then I'm powering the board with a, a much smaller the G power supply, which does happen to function. And then of course it's going from there, from Firewire 400 to Firewire 800 in the iMac, and I'm recovering my my data. So if you think you've got one of these drives and you think, I'll never get the data off that again, they're fucked, um, you may well not be. Just, you know, go for it. Jerry-rig things. Just open it up, go for it. Now, you can, of course, actually repair the power supplies themselves by replacing the bulging capacitors that are in this end of the unit um, with the correct rated power capacitors or maybe better capacitors. Um, but to be honest with you, it was actually quicker for me to jerry-rig this situation up. I think to replace the capacitors in the power supply would have taken me... Well, you've got to get the heat sinks off. It's a little bit tricky. There's a fair bit of soldering. Probably, I don't know, 20 soldering operations and at least three capacitors. Uh, capacitors I don't happen to, have, happen to have in stock. So for me, this was the quicker setup. I managed to get this jerry-rigged up and working within about uh, 10 minutes. So for me, that was the fastest solution. So if you've got the Qi big disks or the Qi drives of any kind, you think you can't get the data off them, um, you may well be able to. All right, cool. I hope that helps somebody. Okay, bye-bye.